In the previous few videos, I demonstrated how to write code for the events of a Delphi object. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use some of Delphi's design time features while writing code in the code editor. You will see how Delphi helps you to remember the names of your objects and how all the properties and methods belonging to those objects are presented to you while writing your code. I will also show you how you can use shortcuts and keyboard keys to autocomplete the code for you. This will help you to type much faster and it also makes your code less error prone and free from spelling errors because you are forced to use strictly defined features. We will continue this demonstration with our contact information application that we've been working on for a while now. So, if you followed these lessons so far, go and open your copy of the contact information project and explore these code features with me. This is the contact information project that we started so far. In Unit 8.2 we type code to display a message box when the user clicks the display button. Let's have a look at that. Double click the display button. You are taken to the event handler named btn display click, which is the event handler that will be triggered when the user clicks on the display button. Here, between the begin and end statements, we have the statement that shows the message box. Select the whole statement and press the delete key on your keyboard to remove it. Ok, now I want to type code to change the rich edits color to yellow. We must start the statement by typing the rich edits name first. The rich edits name is... Um, um, now what did I call that rich edit? Ok, I didn't really forget what the name of the rich edit is. But sometimes we have so many components on a form that it is easy to forget the names. Sometimes you work on a project for several weeks and by the time you want to write code for some objects, you forget their names. You can, of course, click here in the design tab to go to the graphical user interface. Then select a component and find its name in the object inspector. But there is an easier way. Remember, in Unit 7.1 and 7.2, you learned about the importance of names and naming conventions. You learned that the rich edit starts with the prefix RED. That should be your starting point. I'm back here between the begin and end statements. Type RED. Now, let's assume you can't remember the rest of the name. The good news is, Delphi can remember it. After the prefix, press your control key and hold it down. Now press the space bar. Delphi displays a list of everything that starts with RED. All your rich edits names will also be listed here. We only have one rich edit in our project. You must then make sure that the object that you want to program is highlighted in blue. You can use the up and down arrow keys to select the one that you want to program. In this case, RED output is selected. And here we see that it is a T-rich edit. In fact, it is the only T-rich edit that we have. We also see it here. And here we see that Delphi indicates that RED output is a field. A field, in this context, is something that belongs to the class or the form that we are working with. In other words, RED output is a field or a child of our form. While RED output is highlighted, press the Enter key. Delphi types the rest of the name for you. That is very nice. Now, in the previous video you learned that the name of the objects must be followed by a dot. So type a dot. I'm going to stop right there. When you type a dot after the name of an object, Delphi presents another list. This list contains all the properties and methods that belongs to that specific object. The name of the property or method is in bold, like enabled and font. The type of values that those properties will support is displayed on the right side of the name. Enabled takes a boolean and font takes an object of type tfont. Here on the left side in blue text, Delphi indicates if it is a property or a method. We see that both enabled and font are properties. Scroll down in the list and here you also see functions and procedures. Functions and procedures are an object's methods. You will learn about methods in the next tutorial. If I type a C directly after the dot, the first property or method that starts with a C will be highlighted. In this case, it is the color property. 
While color is highlighted, press your Enter key. Delphi types the rest of the name for you. Type a space. Now type colon and equals. This is the assignment operator. Type a space again. We want to change the color property to yellow. The colors names were assigned by Delphi developers and they decided to use CL as the prefix for the names. Type CL. Press the control key and the spacebar key simultaneously. Delphi presents another list. Everything starting with CL appears in this list. To filter it further, type a Y. And Delphi only displays and highlights one item, namely CL yellow. Press the Enter key. Delphi types the whole name out for you. Finally, terminate the instruction with a semicolon. Now let's try another one, but let's go a little faster. I want to change the caption of the form to the phrase Displaying Contact Information. Press Enter. On the new line type FRN. Press Ctrl and Space. The first item is the name of the unit file. The second item in this list is the name of the form. Press the down arrow key to select the second item. Press Enter to autocomplete the name. Type a dot, type a C, type an A, type a P. As you type the individual characters, Delphi filters the list. Caption is now highlighted. Press Enter to type it out. Type a space, type colon and equals, type another space. You must assign a string value to the caption property. Strings are always enclosed in inverted commas. Type two inverted commas. Move your cursor back between the inverted commas. Delphi uses color coding to point out the inverted commas that will start and end your string value. Now type. Displaying. Contact. Information. And end the statement with a semicolon. Let's try another statement. Next, I want to add a line to the rich edit that also displays the phrase Displaying contact information. First press Enter. On the new line type RED. Press Ctrl and Space. Press Enter to type RED output. Type a dot. We want to add a line of text to the rich edit. Type an L. The lines property is selected. Press Enter to type lines. Type another dot. Use your arrow key to move one down. Add is now selected. Here yeah, we see add is a function. In other words, it's a method. I will explain methods in the next video. So let's finish this statement just to see what Delphi presents to us while typing the code. Press the Enter key to autocomplete. Delphi types the add method and it also types an opening and closing bracket. You will learn about that later. But for now you only have to know that Delphi presents brackets after the add method. Because it wants you to specify what you want to add to the lines of the rich edit. We want to add a phrase, in other words a string. Type two inverted commas. Move your cursor between the inverted commas. And type displaying contact information and end your statement with a semicolon. Now let's test our code. Run the application. Click the display button. The color of the rich edit changed to yellow. The caption of the form shows displaying contact information now. And the line was added to the rich edit that displays the phrase displaying contact information. Click the close bitmap button. We will use this project again so click the save all button. Like I mentioned a few moments ago I will explain an object's methods in more detail next. I'll talk to you again in the next video.